GoAggie.com here with head cross country coach Tracy Hellman. Third twilight in the books. How's this one feel? <laughs> it's good to be done. I mean, it's awesome, but it's a lot of work. We had uh, double the teams. It's just uh, a huge atmosphere, but we love it. it the, the fans are awesome out here. Our athletes really performed at a high level. It was great to have some Division One competition here from Nebraska and Creighton, and we couldn't ask for a more perfect night. Yeah, speaking of the Division One competition, I mean, it seemed like they pushed your guys. Nebraska, Trevor from Trevor Vadlik from Nebraska won it. What was it like to be have that tough a competition this early in the season? You know, it's it's kind of a, you gotta you gotta balance it because our guys want to compete and want to win, but also we know that with the meets that really are important are um, two months down the road. But it's good to get a good challenge like that because I think it wakes you up, it gets you hungry, and it gets you ready to go for the the postseason, which is still a ways away. But we we know we got work to do. I know you said this was hard work, but what would it like to have this meet every weekend? <laughs> I don't know if I'd be coaching much longer. No, it's a lot of work, but it's well worth it. Like I said, we have a huge community support. It's something different. It's something neat. It's something awesome for the sport of cross country. And there needs to be more events like this to interest the young kids into going out for cross country so that could be a future event for them. All right, thanks, Coach. Congratulations. Yeah. Another one in the books. Another one in the books. Getting ready for the end of the season. Here we come. Go on. Uh, just finished the women's race. How exciting is it to run at night with all the music going, glow sticks? Oh my gosh, it's so exciting. Like just the adrenaline, every single lap, and the crowd, and it's just by far the coolest race I've ever run. My career. Yeah, and it got even bigger this year. We had 21 teams in the college division. How fun was that? Um, it was just ecstatic. Like I can't even believe this many teams are here, and it's just a great event to host. And we're excited for more years to come. <laughs> and you have a couple big name teams in there. Teams from the conference, couple two D1 teams. At What's it like for the competition-wise, getting ready for the season? Um, yeah, it's just really like a good race to just see where you are against the conference and against other teams. Just kind of get a feel for it and see what we need to work on and improve as a team. So. All right, thanks. Good job and congratulations. GoAuggie.com here with Trevor Vidlack, winner of the men's division. What was it like to run in an atmosphere like this? This is one of the best running atmospheres I've ever ran in. I've never even ran a cross-country race in the lights. Awesome. We got music playing. We got glow sticks lighting up the course. It's a good time. You guys think you want to come back again? Oh, I hope we come back again. We had a really good time. And what's it like some of the competition you might have faced? I know there's some Augie guys are pushing you. Yeah, we we knew Augustana was going to be a good team. They're ranked in the top five in Division Two, so we were hoping to have a good battle with them and see where we were at. All right, thanks, Trevor. Congratulations on your win. .com here with Leah Black, former cross country runner for Augustana. What's it like to come back and race an event like this? It was a blast. Get the adrenaline going again. You feel like you're just still in college, but not quite as in good shape as I used to. It's a blast. Talk about how unique of an event this was. You obviously ran this when you were here running for Augustana, but to come back? Yeah, it's huge now. I can tell you that. It used to be just college, and I don't know how many teams, probably less than 10. You now we have 21 college teams in our high school division. It's a little scary around the turns when it's dark and you have all the girls pushing each other and stuff, but it's, it's a great, really fun event. All right, thank you. GoHockey.com with Adam Brown. Nice race today. What was it like to run in this atmosphere? It was really cool. Chase got like 21 teams to come out, and it was a lot bigger than it was last year. So it's it's really cool to see this race getting that big. That's great. And the competition has really grown too. I mean, two D1 teams. Yeah. A guy from Nebraska won it. Those guys pushed you. What was it like to be in that kind of a race this early in the season? I honestly, I'm pretty surprised because my summer mileage wasn't too crazy. So it feels really good to be up with that caliber of guys right off the bat. All right. Thanks, Adam. Congratulations yeah. and thanks. good luck the rest of the season.